What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we're gonna go over a way to power Hello. up your character in a way to make your character even stronger in Diablo 4 and that is gonna be your stat priorities. Now, before we can understand what stat, stat priorities are or the secondary stats of your gear and items is first we have to understand how your character works or your build works, right? Now, I will note that as you're leveling and getting to 50, it really doesn't matter too much. You definitely just want to put on the strongest things, I would say, but you want to keep in mind on what your build does. So for example, I am playing Werebear uh, Pulverize, okay? So my, my skill tree, I'm all about doing overpower damage, vulnerability damage, and then just strength, uh, straight uh, CC damage, okay? So my build is all about doing crowd control, stunning, slowing, uh, overpowering so that's why I need as much fortify as possible like with earth and bulwark and then we're doing a lot of vulnerable damage because of our paragon uh, nodes that we have that make monsters vulnerable so we get additional damage so when you're making your build and you're looking at your stat priorities a lot of these things come into play and there's a lot of different ways to make uh, your character hit these different damage uh, buckets if you will so let's take a look at these two items that i have here okay comparing weapons let's take these two items for example we're looking at a legendary two-handed axe and then my ancestral staff that i have equipped so when you're looking at the axe people get confused about like they're seeing all the green right now the green is a plus because it's telling you you're gaining this and it's not an actual straight comparison to the individual stats together so for example if it was damage versus to close enemies and then the axe also had it then we would see a direct correlation but we don't so let's take a look if i'm playing werebear and i'm all about doing crowd control damage slow damage vulnerable damage overpower damage earth skills and then probably werebear skills this has damage to healthy enemies damage to poison enemies critical strike damage damage to slowed enemies hey we got one and then ultimate skill damage but when you compare it to my current staff staff we have damage to set crowd control enemies overpower damage damage to close enemies willpower which does give us uh, more overpower damage and then we have crit strike damage with earth skills which all of our skills are earth skills so when you're comparing the weapons like this the staff is giving me hits on every single one to the stats that i use my build for so it's all about knowing how your build works and what stats to get. Now, when you're looking at some other items, even like this one, for example, basic skill damage isn't good. The slow damage is great. Vulnerable damage is good. And then distant enemies doesn't really help us, but it could be good. So like this staff is pretty good, but my ancestral staff is much better. Staff priorities can make the biggest difference when it comes to just buffing your build. And this applies to more than just your weapons, right? When you're looking at defensive things here, like these pants that I have, plus 60 intelligence like yeah intelligence gives me resource regeneration like this is good to help mitigate the resource regeneration but it's not necessarily the best thing that we need for the build same thing with dodge chance dodge chance doesn't help us we'd rather have it be something else right so when you're looking at these gear pieces it really comes down to just maximizing your build based on what your build does so my build is just very slow we're tanky we're going to take hits but we're going to be up close and just deal a lot of damage so the dodge chance is good on these but i'd rather have it be something else um and you can go through this through everything now you're probably asking like well war how do i upgrade these or know when to really look at the the stat priorities here is again up to 50 you don't really care about this you really just do this once you get to 50 plus because then you're accessing your paragon board as well as starting to get high level gear like sacreds and uniques so that can really change and give your character a huge huge power spike so one of the ways guys to accomplish getting the right stat priorities that you may need on your build is going over to the occultist so over here you can enchant an item and we'll talk about this more in a different video but you can enchant an item so you can put an item in here and it allows you to re-roll one of the stats. It allows you to re-roll one of these stats that you can to get something else. However, we don't know what it could be, but it does cost a lot of money and a lot of resources to do this. But you could re-roll and try to get an item that has something. For example, I have re-rolled a previous stat that I didn't like on my old staff to try to get something better. 
Now this is basic skill damage, which doesn't really help us, but what we can do is re-roll it for something else. Now it does cost a lot of money, so I'm not gonna waste the money on this because I'm not using this item. But this is another way if you find something that's really decent to give you good stat priorities. So again, guys, it doesn't really matter too much once you hit uh, up to 50, but past 50 when you start getting into World Tier 3 or right before World, Tree, World Tier 3 and World Tier 4, this is gonna be a huge upgrade and power boost to your character by getting the right stat priorities that will help do what your character build does and i know that can be kind of like people don't really correlate the two and it's tough to really understand because there's so much we still don't know about the game and we're trying to learn but this is a huge tip to help you guys out and you'll see a huge power spike in your character's damage and survivability when you're doing this on a lot of your items so i hope that this video does help guys if it does drop a like comment down below what do you guys think and as always stay gaming i'll catch you guys in the next one peace